now it could be that white people are absolutely useless except, like Elijah Muhammad says, to cause problems. They are a permanent disease. Okay? There ain't no good in them at all. You can never squeeze none out of them. Elijah Muhammad made that clear. I used to hear him talk directly. You know, nobody could get him to change. He went to his grave saying that. That might be true. But codification is designed to find out whether it is true or not. That's what it's supposed to be designed. And if we find out that's true, then that's going to be the bottom line anyway. Either they're going to kill all of us or we're going to kill all of them. They ain't going to even have a problem. Or, do you see, it's, they may die out. They may, do, do you see, in other words, if, if people of color understand what white supremacy is, and the real antidote for white supremacy is to have the global majority not behaving in such a way that allows it to continue. I mean, so white supremacy sad. takes the non-white people being in a continuing state of primitive, pitiful, stupid, and silly. Do you, do you see that if we came out of that, so that the non-white people were behaving in a codified, understand white supremacy. A part of that codification is non-white people do not have sexual relations. That's a part of the justice codification. Did you see? So well, that, that's what I meant by right. codification would find that out. Yeah, okay. But okay, but if they are still functioning on the planet, with black people, I mean, still at their peak of doing everything like it ought to be done, and white people are still mingling among us, or even anywhere on the planet. If they are, in essence, evil people, we're going to lose everything that we have built up. I wouldn't care how you build it up. They're coming after you, all right? And they'll put a hurting on you just like they did in the first place. See, if they're here, see, either they are pure evil or they are not. That's what you got. you got to come to that. We've got to come to that conclusion. Now, who's willing to go that far? A white person, by being white, is pure evil, okay? Or not. It's either or. Yeah, it ain't no splitting the difference. Now, if they are pure evil, that means they cannot stay on this planet. Not because you won't be able to stay on the planet with them. Because pure evil just doesn't sit there. Well, pure evil just doesn't sit there and die out with you walking around here and it's st standing right there looking at you. But wait a minute, pure <laughs> evil, what is pure, let's say, contrast pure evil with pure justice. Do, do, do you see what I'm saying? In other words, if they're pure evil, then can they not be counterbalanced and checkmate by pure justice? Do no, because, uh, no, it doesn't work that way. You can't have, you can't have an evil element in a just situation at all. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. Justice is balanced between people. Okay? So, Which that balance, means, so that you have justice, but you have a, a countervailing... I mean, it's just like you... Well, no, you see, it ain't no... Right see, now. see, this is a... This is, we are in the universe. We are on a globe. All of those lines on a map. See, that's why I never went in went into that thing that black nationalists was talking about. We could get our own country somewhere. Forget that. The white supremacists laughed. Country, you don't have a country nowhere that's black that's not run by the white white supremacists right this minute. You're not going to have one as long as white supremacy exists. I don't care how many flags you wave. They're going to be running everything including you. Particularly you. That's what white supremacy means. See, because they don't seize land, they seize people. If I, if you got 50 houses and I got you, how many houses do I have? There you go. <laughs> All I got to do is grab you. <laughs> I grab you. Forget about the houses, I got you. So everything that you got, everything that you work for, everything that you build up belongs to me. Black people don't understand that. They said that the white supremacists are after land. They're after water. All they're after is you. Once they get you, they got it all. And they got us. We cannot deny that. It's just a matter of what we do with it. And we tell them that. 
But I'm saying, we'll guarantee your genetic survival. Unless it turns out that Elijah Muhammad was correct. So you can cite him because he's the only person I've ever heard say that. I, I don't think Noble Drew Ali said that, did he? I don't think anybody. Marcus Garvey didn't say it. Nobody said that. And people who think it now won't say it. All right. Huh? Khalid Muhammad, yeah, and he's dead. And had very little fault when people started backing away from him when he started saying it, see? But I'm saying, hey, if you believe that, we should, we should, we should make that clear and stack, say, say why, just like Elijah Muhammad did. See, because you're evil. You've got to be destroyed because you're evil. You know, it doesn't make no difference even if you try to be good. There ain't no good in you. Because he said that in his book, right? In the message to the black man, he said, at one time white people tried to do good. See, but it just ain't there. See, Farag Muhammad told him, said, it just ain't there. Said, you know, you can try, you can cry, you can do anything, but you're pure evil. Pure evil means there's no good in you. There's nothing good that can come out of you. Now, when people ask me that, and people have called me long distance and asked me that, you know, I've always said, I don't know. I don't know. See, you know, is a roach pure evil? I don't know. That's my answer. Now, I ain't going to claim that a roach is pure evil. Now, I don't like them. I don't think they like me. But I ain't going to say that a roach is pure evil. You know. Well, we can get an idea. If right? one gal across this floor right now, you know, I, I, get, I don't want to mess up your carpet, but I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's instinctive. See, you know, because, you know, huh? Wasn't his comment, though? What? The, the comment about white folks or white people being pure evil, um, wouldn't that be more of a statement to black people trying to get a reaction or a certain... Uh, mind state that you should be adversarial to these people, not necessarily try and I don't know, you know, integrate or embrace, but to you know have an adversarial relationship to white people. Not so much state. Well, I never heard the one person say that, and that yeah. was Elijah Muhammad, and he was quite emphatic about that. No, he wasn't saying no, no adversarial nothing. Right. Yeah, these people are just not no good. Mm -hmm. Period. This ain't no ploy, you know. I'm not running no game or whatnot. They are not no good in essence. There's no good in them. That the creator of the universe didn't put no good in them. You know, and that they must be destroyed. And that Allah will destroy them. Whatever that meant. Okay? But that was his bottom line. Now, question in this room is, is that true or false? Because, see, we can't go on no false premises. Because something as big as this, you can't make mistakes. Now, I say I don't know. But I say there are mechanisms to put in place that you can find it out. Okay, what's the proof? How do you the proof is you, you keep trying to do justice. And they keep opposing you, and you oppose them as long as they're opposing you. Now, if they just oppose you to the nth degree, that means that they're going to kill you. All right? Which, you know, and, and that's where we're supposed to be pushing this thing. Right. It's nowhere. See, Martin Luther King even understood this. This is why he said, hey, you know, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. And if we get killed in the process, so be it. Because this is what we're supposed to be doing anyway. This is what we are here for. See, you know, black people try to take shortcuts and whatnot. We all want to stay here as long as we can. But basically, our mission should be to replace the system of white supremacy with justice. Now, once you go in that direction, you're going in danger. Because they are going to oppose you.